What's up, everyone? This is the Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Last time, we discovered that Klaus and Lucas made it pretty alright. They're okay. A little shooken up, but they're alright. Yet Hanawa, Flint's wife, was found to have been slain by a Drago. And Flint, in his anger, wound up to be the first prisoner in Tazmilly Jail. In this episode, we're going to see exactly how Flint deals with this. The lock is rusted. Does that mean I can just bust my way out? No. No problem. Spears be been unused for a long time. Okay. So how do I get out? Klaus! Dad, it's me, Klaus. I told Lucas to come too. But he's been crying at mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but the core. The core might be too hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. Uh, okay, Klaus. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong, even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I... Well, it's probably not been the best on Klaus either. Now, I am using a new microphone. If you caught up on the recent episode of Minecraft, you'll know that I had microphone problems. I finally got a new one. It's actually a Blue Yeti microphone. So yeah, I'll probably sound a little bit different. I've done tests and I'm pretty glad about it so far. I still prefer my oldest microphone, but this one's pretty good. It's better than the headset I was using. Eat the apple. Sure. Flint got the apple. That doesn't look good. There was a hand file? Jeez, Klaus. How did you manage to do that? Use the hand file to break the lock? Well, sure. Nothing else we can do. And there goes the lock. The hand file became unusable. Well. Duster. Flint. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Hanawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hanawa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying in her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. Oh, poor Lucas. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. What's this poster? Sheriff not wanted. After all, there's no crime. Seems like Taz Millie's just a really peaceful place. Seems like these types of incidents really are not common. And have so many of them right in a row. What's this? Clackety clackety. This is Reggie's house. And Reggie has a present. And some nut bread. Aw. But yeah, it seems like this stuff does not happen too often. He's not home. But to have so much of this happen at once, the fire, Hanawa's death. Gosh, it must be... It must be a real shock to everyone in Tazmilly, but especially to Flint and Lucas. And Klaus, too. And what's over this way? Another present that we can't really use. Those guys. Alright, well, we should probably go to uh, Bronson's house to look for, to get that uh, Drago Fang. 
the... What is this? No problem here. Well, nothing I can really do. Only question, where is his house? Some birds. His house is probably in town, so I should probably head back that way. The music even seems really somber. Hmm. Kind of fits the mood of the town. Mr. Flint, what's wrong? Why the long face? Come stop by our place. We're baking nut bread. Okay, well, it seems like that's where I can go and buy some nut bread. Let's see. That's the mayor's house. Where's Bronson's place? Do, 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 do. Yado, that's the inn. Let's see. Thomas's Bazaar. There's Bronson. That was a very nice grave old Nippolite made, but but I had to come back home. Seeing Lucas's sobbing face was just too much for me to handle. Well, I suppose we should go see Hinawa's grave. I'm surprised he's not surprised that we just broke out of jail. Still, we should probably go see Hanawa's grave. Flint, you really lost it during that wild outburst of yours. I know you had your reasons, but it's wrong to act out your aggression on others. Well, that's what I thought. I don't think I've seen you before. Or maybe I have. If you're looking for the villagers, almost everyone is at Sunset Cemetery. Everyone loved Hanawa. Alright, well, let's go ahead and head on over to the cemetery then. What the? A grave digger? Mr. Flint. There was such a... Terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I'm humbly prepared. I've humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it right now. But when the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top notch grave, it is. And there's Tessie. It seems Klaus was the first person at Hanawa's grave this morning. When I called out to him as he was leaving, he gave a tiny little smile, and suddenly dashed off. Well, he probably ran to see me. So many graves. This appears to be a new type of grave. Hmm. I wonder where Hunao is. That's not... That looked like a skull for a second. All the villagers. Flint. You and Hanawa, you two loved each other so much that even the little birds in the forest were jealous. And that will never change, even after this. M my deepest condolences to you. Wow, so... It seems like Flint and Hanawa were even closer than how much a normal married couple would be. I wish I could pound fate with this 2x4. Lucas... Dad, I thought you said anything could come true, as long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts. Mom can't even punish me anymore now. I don't want it like this. Alex, or Alec, my mistake. He lost his daughter. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while. But I rushed straight here after I heard about Hinawa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? Well, he busted me out of jail, but then he ran off. He said he was going to see you, but then never came back. I'm sure Klaus is fine. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas! It's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable Drago to try to... N n n no! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go to the mountains to kill the dragon. He did what now? 
Ah! It's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Wunt. Does Klaus honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Did you honestly expect Lucas to stop Klaus from doing that? Well, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no, because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! Don't blame him. Lucas is just a kid. Lucas! <sighs> Maybe that was a little too harsh of me. Flint, it sounds like Klaus is headed into the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're gonna need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight Dragos with, and then hurry to my place. Come get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, then have old maps and mark it on the map for you. I think he's in the town square. Well, that seems like the best thing to do. Where's Klaus? A bouquet of flowers offered to everyone's beloved Hinawa. Alright, well, we better go stop Klaus then. So now that we have that, now I guess it would be when we're supposed to go to Bronson and get the Drago knife. The music suddenly changed again. Okay. I suppose there's a bit more urgency. Oh hey, it's Mapson. Alex House? Here, I'll mark it on the map for you. There you go. I marked Alex's house for you. Yay! Be careful out there now. So his house is way up there. Actually, I think that's not that far from where we found Lucas and Klaus. So that should be easy enough to go find. Flint, just take this and go. It's THE Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Hey, your inventory's full. Come back to after you- Okay. How do I organize my inventory? Do I just drop stuff, or...? That's equipment. Let's see, what don't I need? I don't need this nut. Okay, now we should be able to. I'm not sure if there's any sort of like storage, but I think just dropping it's probably the fastest way to go. Yay, we got the Drago Fang. Yay as in a question mark, yay. I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Well, normally it would, but Alec mentioned it specifically that we get this Drago Fang. Actually, let's try to equip it. We can't equip it. Is it... that? I don't want to go to status. Is it like a key item, or...? No. Drago Fang. The relic of a horrible incident, a fang sharp enough to pierce even Drago hide. Well, no, it would say if it's an equipable item. This isn't time to use that, so yeah. I guess it's kind of a key item, though it's not really. There's the tall guy again. There's a nut. Alright, so we just have to run through the forest then. Until we can find where Alex's house is. Whoa! What the crap? What is this thing? A praying mantis. Nothing special like that? It's just a regular praying mantis? Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. Or I could just beat it in one hit. Wow, only two experience points? For a nut? No. Give up the nut? Yes. Okay. Hey, there's a flying mouse. Ah, stupid- Ah! Or it's a regular mouse. Greedy mouse. What the? Huh. So it healed. 
brandished a scythe. Oh wow, I'm so scared. These guys are pretty pathetic. These guys are really pathetic. <laughs> was taught a lesson. Why weren't these guys earlier on in the game? Not the present, not bread. Uh, do we, do we have anything that we really don't need? No. Yep, nut bread, yes. Okay, there's more mice. No, no, you don't. Oh, that's the hot springs. That's not the right way to go. Haha, you stupid mice. There's a baked yam monster. There's a snake. Oh, no! It got us from behind. Aw, oh, crap. We're poisoned. Oh, man. I take poison damage before I attack. That's not good. Okay, do I remain poison after the battle? Let's see. Goods. What about status? Yeah, I remain poison after the battle. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so then we go this way then. More baked yam monsters, more snake. Wow, I actually got him from behind. Take that, you stupid snake. Three, four. Ha ha ha. This is almost too easy. Now, if only I could just plow right through the monsters. Oh, great. There's the flying mouse. Uh huh. Oh crap. No, no, damn it! Stupid mighty bitey snake. Alright, well, I suppose we should heal up. Antidote. Oh boy, it did six damage. Okay. Is poofing out its hair to look threatening. Yeah, you are real tough. Dang! Come on, Flint. Three, four. Okay, didn't need the combo. Wow, that was a lot of experience, too. Alright, 40 hit points. Jeez. Alright, well, go ahead and eat this nut bread. Because I really don't want a game over. Again. I already did it once. I don't want him to have to do it again. Wow, I'm just speeding right past these guys. What the crap are these things? Spud bugs. Okay, wow, these things are even faster than me. Three, four. Okay, it only takes about 81 to... Okay. Three, four. Dang. Life up alpha? Whoa. That restored a very good amount of hit points. You know, called for help and no one came. The music kind of reminds me a little bit of Angry Beavers. I'm not sure why. Three, four. I'm not sure, it just kind of does. And a running bomb? Okay, what is this? Produces a, produces a series of explosions, deals damage to all enemies. Ooh, that could be helpful. Safe frog. Whoa! Hey, a present with some beef jerky. Haha! Right. -ha! Stupid moose caribou thing, a mole. Man, there are just so many enemies. How did Alex get past all these guys? 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, dang it. Okay, so he's just lowering my defense even more. And I just smack him out of the freaking sky. Well, not really out of the sky, more like into the sky. You understand what I mean? And I need to recover as well as get some inventory space. No! Stupid mole! Can I run away? Go ahead and run. Okay, fine. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. Three, four. Had enough? Oh, jeez. You freaking critical me. How dare you? Stupid mole, how dare you get a smash attack on me? Wh what? A crag lizard. Was that rock seriously an enemy? Okay, that's something I didn't expect. Two, three, four. Oh man, that barely did anything. Oh jeez. This could be more trouble than I thought. Hmm, four down and attack. Jeez! Okay, okay, uh, big DM. Good thing I'm faster than it. Okay, at least I outspeed it. Dang! Ah! Gonna use up all my baked yams. Good thing for the rolling hit points. Three, four. Okay, that was a pretty good hit. Uh, I can take one more attack. Two, three, four. Dang! This thing does not want to die. I was planning on ending off the episode soon. Oh wow, I only have nine hit points. Three, four. Yeah! Take that, you stupid crag lizard. What was all that for? An Aquarius bracelet. What does that do? Let's see, defense plus five. Nice. So that would be very helpful to have. All right, how close are we to Alex's house? Uh, we're actually almost there. We cross the, this board, are we there? Mole, get away from me. I think we're pretty much there. Yeah, I think it is. The music changed. There's some cacti. And pigs. Rabbits. Yeah, we're at Alex's place. Alright, well, this is about as good as time as any to end the episode. Went a little bit over thanks to that stupid crag lizard, but... You know, for that Aquarius bracelet, I think that was a good find. So next time on Let's Play Mother 3... We're going to hopefully run into Alec and stop Klaus before he does anything foolish. Because we've already lost Hinawa. I couldn't imagine what would happen if we lost Klaus or if anything happened to him. So until next time, everyone, take care.